I know very well that you know of what has happened in Uganda. We have, yes, we had peaceful elections on the 14th, but we had issues to do with intimidation, the rioting, the protest, the defiance, plan B, plan A, from whatever side, whatever political side in this country. But most importantly, we went through the election cycle, though we are still in court, and which is entrenched in the Constitution that Ugandans will choose the leaders to lead them and take decisions on their behalf every after five years. You understand that uh, the kind of way for vision you have, it is uh, the driving force. Uh, the National Resistance Movement is the driving force of this country, has been so for so many years, and the next five years, the five years ahead, uh, I know there will have to be rulings, and we will probably have to come again and meet again after the rulings when the elections will be finished for good. Because that is our understanding of the electoral process. The elections are over, are finished when the last uh, institution, uh, institution has expressed its uh, position and its views on the matter. In this case, it is the judiciary. Um, so the objective is definitely to understand, and if we can do anything to help you understand uh, something that has been uh, said or has been done uh, on our side, we will be delighted to do so. Definitely, it is a difficult moment. It's an interesting moment, but it's also very difficult because it is a very polarized uh, moment in Uganda. We the agenda that was